We're going to talk about two exciting Bermuda grass products from the Specialty Crops Research Initiative Drought Resistance Trials. Uh, the program for development of improved drought resistance in Bermuda grass began in a multi-state project in 2011. And it was in the uh, late teens of the 2000s that the first products actually got released. Those included Tahoma 31 and then also Tiff Tough. The Tahoma 31 is a product of Oklahoma State University and Tiff Tough is a product of the University of Georgia. Actually, five universities worked collectively in the co-development of these lines. To my left is Tahoma 31. In the National Turf Evaluation Program trials, it appears as OKC 1131, but the registered trademark name of Tahoma 31 Bermuda grass has been applied for. It's very dense, medium to dark green, can tolerate cutting heights between an eighth of an inch up to about inch and a half, maybe even up to two and a half inches. And it's got excellent winter tolerance, early spring green up, and then also is very water use efficient. If you have to get a lot of growth out of a grass, while you're still putting a lot of traffic on it, you're gonna to have to water it. And it uses that water very, very efficiently. Next, I'd like to show you Tiff Tough. I think it's a catchy name. It's from the University of Georgia and it comes from a long line of superior products produced by that breeding program. And TIF merely means that it was created and developed from the Tifton, Georgia area. TIF does not mean fine textured, by the way, folks, because there are many great forage Bermuda grasses that start out with the name TIF as well. And they are very, very coarse textured and great forages, but they're not turf types. Uh, traditionally, Tiffway was used in Oklahoma up to about uh, I-40, and it lacked winter hardiness for the northern part of the state. But Tiff Tough has good winter hardiness, and this is actually one of the most drought-resistant Bermuda grasses in the marketplace now. Uh, so you've got a choice of Tahoma 31 or Tiff Tough as two of the most drought-resistant Bermudas at this time. This one's not quite as dense uh, and not quite as fine a texture as Tahoma 31, but it's still a great fit to the residential market. Actually probably tolerates a little higher mowing than Tahoma 31 while not getting puffy uh, under those conditions. Now both the Tahoma 31 and the Tiff Tough are interspecific hybrids and they are sterile. While they will flower occasionally, they will not produce seed. So you won't be able to go out and ask to buy Bermuda grass seed of either Tiff Tough or Tahoma 31 because it doesn't exist. They have to be planted by either sprigs, plugs, or sod in order to establish them. They require no special care in terms of their establishment or maintenance. So you can use the Bermuda grass management calendar information that's found in HLA fact sheet 6420 lawn management in Oklahoma when you go to manage either one of these Bermuda grasses. We hope you'll give them a try because we think they have excellent adaptation to our state. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Yeah.